Hi, I'm Sandra Burnett and welcome to Growing in the Word. One of my YouTuber subscribers asked this question. She said that I saw a video about how we should be afraid of the devil because he is nothing and has already been defeated by Jesus Christ. He said, it talks about this in Isaiah. Can you do a video on this? Well, I'm going to briefly share this with you. So come on, let's grow in the word of God. The Bible gives us a clear picture of who the devil is, but it also lets us know as believers that we have authority over the devil. Satan, prior to his rebellion against God and prior to his fall from heaven, he was created a cherubim, which is an angelical being. Satan, he was full of wisdom. The Bible talks about he was created beautiful. And not only that, he was created perfect beautiful. He was also an anointing guardian angel. The Bible talks about that he became puffed up. He became uh, conceited because of all of his perfect beauty and the position and power that he had. And so he decided that he was going to try to overthrow the throne of God. In the book of Ezekiel, the Bible describes Satan. It talks about how beautiful he was, that he was covered with with sapphire and he was covered with diamonds and other types of stone. But in the book of Isaiah, it describes Satan's fall from heaven and why and how God brought Satan down. In Isaiah, the 14th chapter, the 12th through the 15th, the Bible says how you are falling from heaven, O day star, son of the dawn. In the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 9, the Bible says the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil, Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to earth and his angels were thrown down with him. Satan is now the God of this world. For in John 12, 31, the Bible says, now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And then in 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, the Bible says, in their case, the God of this world has blinded the mind of the unbeliever. So we can see here that Satan decided that he wanted to try to overthrow God, how beautiful he was. He became conceited, but he was thrown down. He was cast out, and now he is the God of this world. Now, should we be afraid of Satan? That all depends on who you belong to. Now, we can see from all that I read that Satan is real and that Satan has a kingdom and that he has authority and he has power. Just the thought of Satan thinking that he can overthrow the throne of God lets us know that he has power and that he has authority. Satan admitted that he has power and authority in Luke 4 and 6. For he was talking to Jesus and he said to him, To you I will give all this authority in their glory, for it has been delivered to me. But oh, when Jesus died on the cross and he rose again, he got up with power and Jesus got up with authority and he defeated the devil. Jesus' death, Jesus' burial, and Jesus' resurrection not only washed away our sins, but he also again defeated Satan and Satan is under Jesus' feet. Now hear me what I'm about to say. And because he is under Jesus' feet, he is under every believer's feet. Now hear me. Now Satan, he offered Jesus all the kingdoms of this world at one point, but now he cannot offer Jesus anything because Jesus said in the word of God, Matthew 28 and 18, he said, all authority 
in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So that means that Jesus crushed Satan. That means that Jesus defeated Satan at the cross. And if Jesus defeated Satan at the cross, and if Satan is under Jesus' feet, then that means that Satan is under every believer's feet. Believers have power over Satan through Jesus Christ. Satan cannot overcome us through Jesus Christ. Colossians 2 tells us that Satan has been defeated totally. He has been totally disobedient earned of all his power and his authority over the believer. So that means what? He cannot accuse us anymore to God. It also means all legal charges has been taken away against us because of the work of Jesus Christ. Let me read what Colossians 2 14 and 15 says. It says, heaven cancel the charges of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. Glory be unto God. He has taken it away, nailed it to the cross, and have disarmed the powers and the authorities. He made a public spectacle of them, triumphant over them by the cross. It is at the cross. It is what Jesus Christ did at the cross that shows us that Satan is totally defeated and he has no authority over the believer. Now, the only power, hear me what I'm about to say, that Satan has over the believer is what we give him. Listen to what James 4 and 7 says. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. So that means that if we submit to God, the devil is going to flee because we resist him. Now, if we give him authority, he's going to take it. But if we submit to God and resist the devil, he got to run in terror because he know who we have standing with us and who we stand in. You know, my husband once told a story and I believe it was a little bear. And this lion will come and the bear is so afraid of this lion. So one day the lion came and, and all of a sudden the lion became very afraid. And the little boy thought that the lion was afraid of him. But what the little boy didn't know is that his daddy, Papa Bear, <laughs> was standing behind him. So the devil gonna come like a roaring lion. But we got to remember who we got standing with us, who we are standing in, who has defeated him. And because again, Jesus defeated him, he is defeated every time he come against us. So I want to close with this. Philippians 2 and 10 says this, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of those, hear me now, in heaven and those on earth. Satan had to bow down to our authority through Jesus Christ. That tells us how powerful we are as believers through Jesus Christ. Now, if you're not saved, then that means that Satan has authority over you, but not the believer. We are overcomers because of the work of Jesus Christ. So the rest of that verse says, and those again on earth, and those under earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And because again we're in him, we are Lord over the devil. Again, we as believers, we got to know that Satan is defeated because of the work of Jesus Christ. He has been disarmed. He has been stripped of all rights that he had over us. Now, I pray, Gina, that this answered your question. And I pray all of those that listen to this message are encouraged to know that Satan is under your feet if you are a believer. 
I want to thank you so much for joining me on today. I want you to put in the comment sections how you enjoyed this message. And also, you ask questions like Gina, and I will look at your question and pray about it. And maybe I'll answer your question as well. God bless you. Keep growing in the world.